Whether you're a prepper, a camper, person that has a lot of meetings, or someone who wants to have a backup refrigerator that is also portable, this dude is a refrigerator slash freezer together. So you can actually have a freezer and refrigerator next to each other. You can configure it so it's all a refrigerator, all a freezer. This is the Set Power RV60D Pro. It's pretty sweet. We're gonna go through this top to bottom. Stay tuned. We currently have the freezer going down to its absolute lowest setting and I have it hooked up to my portable power supply so I can show you the wattage. We're bouncing around between 58 and 63 watts to make this refrigerator or freezer run at its absolute max setting for max cooling. That's not bad. Now we can just put this on eco mode and it's going to drop down to about 39 to 43 watts out that's gonna even allow us to use this longer. And the eco mode's still gonna hold those lower temperatures, it's just not gonna cool things down as fast. So you can use this in any situation for a very, very long time off of a smaller power supply. Most people will probably just plug this into the wall with an adapter. So you have a simple adapter here that you can just plug into grid power. Ours in the USA is 110. And then you have an adapter to bring it down to the 12 volts. So it's very simple. It takes up about the same amount of power. All you have to do is plug it in and let this rip. This is a 60 quart cooler and they do make them smaller, but you can fit about 50 some odd cans of beer, 15 bottles of wine, a lot of different things in here. And it's set up so that you have a freezer on this side, which we have some frozen meat in. And then I have a refrigerator going on this side, which I have just a little bit of beer sitting over here. Just to kind of test this out. Super cool that you can use this in multiple different ways. If you'd like to, you can pull this center piece out and you can also pull out your freezer piece. And then you can set this guy up to use as a full freezer or a full refrigerator. You can actually flop this around and make the smaller side the refrigerator and the larger side the freezer. You have all kinds of options with this, which I think is amazing. And it just allows you to do whatever you'd like to do with this unit. You can also take this door that's open and you can flip it around so it will open on the other side if that's what you need for your camper or whatever. There is also a handle for the wheels here. And wheels on this are actually rubber, which is pretty nice. So inside here, you do have a light that comes on when you open the door. Uh, there's no UV or anything else in here, but uh, pretty simple. What I like is it does have a drain plug. So when you're done with it, you can open that drain plug, let any water that accumulated in here drain out, or actually just use it as a cooler if you needed to. Controls on this guy are very simple. You can see that you have a white section over here that is the larger box. That is going to be your freezer section. And then you have one that's a little bit of an L shape. That's where your compressor is at on the other side. And that allows you to adjust the temperature between the two sides. Now, interestingly enough, default is going to be zero degrees for the freezer and 41 for when you turn on the refrigerator side. I have always had this come down to a lower temperature as far as the real temperature of what we're seeing on the refrigerator side, but I've never had anything freeze on this side. So I usually set it up for somewhere in the one to zero range for the freezer and it brings everything else on the opposite side to a very, very crisp temperature, but it is not freezing by any means. So if there is one downside, this, is not overly accurate when you're in freezer to refrigerator mode, although I do trust the freezer and we can go over some of that a little bit later. We talked about the max and eco mode. You can just push the settings and move across. When the power is turned off, but the unit is still plugged in, you can push the two buttons on the left-hand side. That's gonna take you into the settings mode. This PR is going to allow you to adjust the safety level. So if you have this plugged into your car, it has high, 
medium, and low. So that'll adjust the amount that it will allow the battery to drain. Then the manual will tell you basically where it's gonna stay, but on the lowest level, it's 9.6 volts. And then on the highest level, it's gonna be somewhere in the tens. Now, if you push the power button, you see CF here, and this will allow us to adjust between Celsius and Fahrenheit. It's pretty simple, easy to use. Power button moves you through, and then you just wait a little bit till that goes away, and you can resume normal activity of the freezer. Turn it back on, and here we are. Very simple and easy to use, not much to it. Moving this around when it's not plugged in is fairly easy. You have two locks here. These come out, you can pick it up, roll it. As I said before, the tires are rubber, so they work quite well. That's locked in place. Push these again, it'll go back in. You have two kind of elastic type handles here, so you can pick this up and lift it into a car. Very simple, easy to use. It is a little bit heavier because you have a compressor in here, but other than that, it's pretty simple to move. This level of convenience does come at a cost. This 60 quart cooler is $599 with all the power cords that you need to run it. Good news here is that you have a reliable refrigerator and freezer that's going to have a three year warranty on it. I like that part of it. Uh, the downside is obviously that's still a lot of money and you can buy almost a full stand up refrigerator freezer for that in the right situation. So it's not going to be for everyone, but at the same point, if you're moving around a lot, you're camping, you have this in multiple situations. I can see that somebody using this as their main refrigerator freezer in like a van if they're traveling around. Um, just seems to make sense in some cases. For me, it's about the meetings and about traveling. And it's easy to plug this into a car or a truck. You got power very easily accessible and you can keep anything you'd like to cold. And although it's black, it still does work quite well in the sun. And I was very, very surprised with that because I had both this portable power station and this guy in the back of the truck on an 87 degree day and it performed just as well as it is right here. In fact, it had the same stuff in it and I was just testing out what it was going to do. So reliability for me is good. Downside, the refrigerator temperature side when you're in freezer slash refrigerator mode is not always perfectly correct. And I assume that's just because it's so cold on one side that some of it seeps over to the other, but it doesn't freeze. So overall, I'm thrilled. This is what I was looking for, something that I could split up, have a freezer and a refrigerator going, have it work perfectly for the travel side, but also when I have a meeting side and I wanna have a ton of beer or whatever else in this refrigerator, I can put it in here and have the whole thing be a refrigerator. That was the key to this particular unit. They do make it in a 45 quart. I'll put the links down there. It's not much less expensive. It's like 550 for the 45 quart. So I just opted to go big, go big or go home. Always interested in comments, leave them below. Give us a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.